I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Here's the look today. I don't know what the vibe is, but I do have these. And I feel like this is giving like undercover police detective a bit. It's not my it's not my intent, but it also doesn't look too bad to me. Then I also got the librarian. Ooh. So I'm gonna take these. I also feel like I need a gloss instead of the matte lip. Instead of the matte lip. This is Cosmic by Hourglass. Love Hourglass down. Mm, like that's so pretty. I feel like that just looks so much more fun. Um this is a fake turtleneck and it's choking me, but I'm trying to keep it on. It's, I don't know what this is on it. I don't know if it's like the outline of clothes or something. I don't know, but I had it on the other way, but I got makeup all over it, putting my shirt on. So I did twist it around. Effie turn the wigs around. But I think, I, I don't know if I want to do hair down. I think I want to cut some layers into this because I didn't and you can tell. So I'm gonna cut some layers and I might do an updo because I feel like the hair down feels like too much going on today. I'm gonna do my bobby pins to secure her down. It looks so good already, that side. I have my eyeliner on my pimple so they look like moles. And there was one coming in up here and I did put the dot too big on accident, but you know what? I got another one right here. So I feel like, you know what? Don't worry about how many, how many moles I got on my face. You know what you should do if you're worried about how many moles I got on my face? You should go. And let me know when you've done that. This is looking all right. Let's, hey, hey guys, let's, let's get information. Okay, she's Bobby Pinned, and I like this song. Okay, I don't really love my top knot, like I did it first now. For some reason, it's it looks weird, but it'll it'll do, I gotta go. Okay, I think I look kind of cute now. It's, the outfit's growing on me. I'm about to put on my socks. I'm kind of excited to go. It's pick the first event I've been to for Pickle. I don't know if I even told you guys where I was going, but I'm going to a Pickle event. When I was in New York, uh, I think right before I went to New York, or while I was in New York, I discovered Pickle. And it's this, it's this app. Well, I've been following them for a while. I hadn't used it. I was just kind of curious about it. So I was following them. And then I don't really remember how we formed a relationship, but we did. And my team is like talking to them and stuff. And they ended up gifting me like, credits so I could work with them to get clothes for fashion week and stuff so that was really cool and I really like the brand so we've kept in contact and they're actually having their first event that I can go to I don't know if it's their actual first event but it's their first event that I can go to I've been like sick every time they've had something else there's always been something wrong with me but I'm finally okay and I can actually go this time so I'm getting ready to go and I'm kind of excited I think it's like an in-person gifting for Coachella I'm not actually going to Coachella because I'm too afraid to go on the highway to go to Coachella for Palm Springs because when I had to go on the highway to go to, um, I don't even remember what I went on the highway to go to, but it was really scary to go to Palm Springs and I was just petrified the entire ride. And I was, everyone was asleep and I was just in the back like this, like freaking out, having a panic attack. So driving on the highway and it's not me driving and we were in a big party bus. Oh, it was just so scary. It was just so scary. And I was so frightened the entire time. So I just couldn't enjoy myself. So I didn't really want to have to do that again. So I ended up saying no to Coachella, which sucks because I'd never been and I was really excited to go. I think I just didn't know it was in Palm Springs. When I heard Palm Springs, I was like, oh, no, no, no. I'm sad about that because I did want to go to Coachella, but you know, you, you, you can't go to everything. I'm just going to go there and like get some stuff. Maybe I'll just make some content with the stuff I rent. So that'd be cool, but I'm excited. I am going to eat a kiwi before I leave, but... I don't have, I wouldn't want to take my spoon with me and I need to leave in like, no, I can eat a kiwi in five minutes. Because I really like kiwi. I put paper towel on the bottom of the kiwi container because that shit will get all the fuzz in your fridge. Let me cut it, hold on. I know that there are people that eat the kiwi skin, but the thing about that is I think they're all pretending. There's no way you're actually sitting here eating that furry coat. You're not doing that. I don't think anyone that says they eat kiwi skin is being a serious person. Cause hell no. I would imagine that's what eating a hamster is like. Kiwis are so good. That's a slept on fruit. That is yummy. I love tarty fruit. Well, honestly, I think I love tart in general. Before I reach for sweet, I'll reach for something tarty. But kiwi is just perfect tart. Mmm, gutted. Gutted. I'm gonna cosplay Goldilocks today. Well, I'm gonna try. I'm a little nervous. I found different contacts. I found my brown contacts that make your eyes look really big, but then I also found some blue ones. So I'm not sure, but I'm nervous. I didn't do a test run. I didn't try on the costume, nothing. So it's all gonna be first impressions. I'm gonna wash my feet. I got these so the water doesn't run down my 
face and everything. You don't look like a Power Ranger. Is it giving Power Ranger? Not at all. Now I dry my face. Ooh, it's giving vibrant. I've been using the Belief, the True Cream Aqua Bomb. Clearly I like it, I've been getting into her. Then I'm gonna use the Naterium Multipeptide Eye Cream. My best friend, literally my best friend, I love her. I always do my skincare maybe like 15 minutes before I wanna start my makeup. So it has time to settle into the skin. Okay, for the face, I think I wanna use the Revlon Color Stay. Mine is literally Literally on its last leg. I ordered two more, but I can't find like my email about it and it hasn't come yet and it's been like two weeks. So um, I hope that I'm still gonna get that because I like this foundation and there's like a dollop left. So preferably if I would get that package, that'd be great. And then I'm gonna use, I'm gonna do my regular makeup routine. I wanna say, to be honest, I think I'm gonna do my regular base and then we'll go from there. I also added some yellow from the LA Girls Mixing Pigments just because I realized this foundation is a little too warm for me. Mm, that should definitely match. That should match, that should match. Oh, perfect. I'm too cold with this. I told you guys a while ago that I would make a video explaining how to make your foundation shade. I've literally just been lazy, um, but I'll make it next week, I swear. And if I don't, I don't know. Blend her out. I just have some setting spray on my beauty sponge and this beauty sponge is from the creme shop. They make the best beauty sponges. <laughs> oh, this time's walking, you just let me live. I don't think I knew Apocalypto was a real movie until I was older and I was talking to somebody about it and they said that they saw it and I was like, how you saw a movie I made up? Probably because I didn't make it up and it is a real movie. So. Hourglass sent me some of their brushes a while ago and they are too good. I don't know how bronzy Goldilocks really is, but she's bronzy today. I'm gonna blend that out with my Almar Cosmetics brush. I don't want too much. This shade is very pigmented on me, but I didn't really want that. I kind of wanted to take it a little easy. We really want to do bring in that color with my powder blush more than the... So just a cute little something to give us a base. I'm gonna put a little bit of highlight on. I don't really wear highlight much lately, but I kind of want to look like fun. And I feel like highlight makes me think fun. So I'm gonna use MAC Gold Deposit. This is like my favorite highlighter. I didn't spray my face, so this is just a highlighter without that extra push from a setting spray. I'm using MAC Chestnut Lip Liner for my eyeliner. I'm trying to keep it fairly simple, um, just because I don't think I would have liked it without eyeliner. I don't think I should have done it, but I know myself. I wasn't gonna like it. <laughs> I needed to put on a liner of an eye. I also have the space in my eyelid that I can just never get product in. I have to put mascara to disguise it. I'm gonna try to replicate what I did over here, over here. I wanna try using the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk or maybe mixing that with Max Spice. Oh, it's very smooth. Also, do you guys like my Moo Moo? Isn't it cute? I'm really not used to seeing myself like this. That's cute, right? I'm gonna use the NYX Shine Loud, and this is shade, I remember the last time I used this in a video, everybody asked me what the shade was. I cannot find it on here. I don't, I wanna say, maybe it's Cash Flow. I'm gonna say Cash Flow. We're gonna say Cash Flow. And I'm gonna do the gloss, so somebody told me let's, last time I did this, that I have to let this dry completely before I add the gloss, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take this shade, oh, it's so pretty. It's just such a perfect pink. Like a perfect soft pink. I'm gonna blend that in. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Cute. I think I should have went for more of a rosy pink than such a soft pink. I feel like this looks a little closer to Barbie. So wait, I'm actually gonna change the color a little with the milk jelly tint. They're just a little more neon than I'm aiming for right now, but I think just adding a little. Oh, that actually worked. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can. I'm gonna let this dry down and then we'll add the gloss. Don't be riding your motorcycle down my street. Handle them. Quickly. Now, I'm gonna set my face and then I'm looking up pictures of Goldilocks again. I think I just need a little more of like direct circle blush here. And then I think we should go put the wig on. Just really like that, ooh, that like dotted circle cartoon blush where it's just like two dots of blush. Now I'm gonna set my face. Okay, don't mind the wig. This is literally a cosplay wig that I've bought to do the Goldilocks and then ended up liking it when I put it on. And then I've been wearing it normally, but I bought this to do the Goldilocks look with. So we're gonna try to sort that out. Cause um, this was the way, I literally used this to do the Pat McGrath trend. Like I just loved it. I just fell in love with this wig. There's so many colors to it as well. And I just like couldn't put it down. 
but actually I don't feel like this looks too bad. I feel like her hair is just a little shorter maybe, and then that should work. Let's cut it. We're just gonna snip away, honestly. I feel like she's got like a cute bob going, and you know, I love a bob, so let's get a bob. Let's get a Goldilock bob. No Marley. Like you could never come up with something like that on the fly like that. Like you could never do that. That would have taken you 30 minutes and you would have needed an iPad and the notes app to sit there and write that out. I don't have to do that. Y'all not cut from the same cloth as me. You could never have done that on your own. Wait, why is this Bob so cute? Please, girl. Oh, and I did cut him uneven as hell. <laughs> let's, let's even that out. And the back is probably long as hell. Let me cut that a little. I can't really see what I'm cutting, but um, I'm sure it's fine. I did forget I was filming a little bit, um, but okay, this is gonna work. I'm just gonna pin the hair to stay on this side because it keeps wanting to flip back, but then it looks really flat when it flips back. So I feel like this little moment's gonna work. Okay, cute. I'm kind of in love. It's so adorable. I love it. Stop, period. Uh, now let's get, should we do like freckles? I don't think I know if she has freckles or not. I just feel like that's such a cute Goldilocks thing to do, but low key when I'm looking at pictures right now, she's got a freckle, so I'm not gonna make that up. Let's let's make her headband. Got my blue ribbon, and I'm just gonna literally like make a little headband. A little goldy headband. Like this. And then I'm gonna do okay, this is giving do-rag a little more than it is. Cute, adorable headband. Um, no worries. Okay, see, period. Like, don't ever doubt me like that. Don't ever doubt me again. I can do anything. I can literally do anything. I can do anything. Okay, how cute. I'm so smart. This is perfect. I'm literally Goldilocks. Like, are you kidding me? This is Goldilocks down. When I was looking up Goldilocks audios on TikTok, why does nobody do like the normal Goldilocks? They're all the Goldilocks from the movie, the Puss in Boots movie. Y'all forgot there's like this Goldilocks, like don't play in her face. This is so cute and adorable and lovely. I wish that this was like, yeah, yeah, let's bring you out. Let's, 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 let's pop out for real. These are kind of like freaking humongous. So let's, let's try to, uh, yeah. Oh, and that does look crazy. Oh, and I did mess it up. No, I'm gonna fix it, I'm gonna fix it. See, have faith in me, seriously. You should know that by now. Don't ever think I can't do something. Okay, now I'm gonna put on the clothes. I'm excited, I never tried it on! This is the costume, it's this dress and then this apron. I feel like you can't really see it the way I'm showing it, but it's so cute. I have the dress on, but I'm a little confused by this apron. I don't really get what she's telling me to do. Is it like my head goes in here? Oh, and that's literally it. I was so confused. I was like fighting for my life over there in the corner. I was in the corner like this. Oh, and then we tie it. Oh my gosh, I'm so pretty and cute. Okay. And then we have the socks with the bow, like. I'm literally gonna use this for Halloween. <laughs> this is such a good costume. I feel like there's way too much hair out in the front and it kind of looks chaotic. Feels like there just needs to be a little less. I'm trying to hurry up before the sun goes down. Okay. Let me put on the socks really quick in the shoes. I have the whole little outfit. <laughs> and then the little socks. <laughs> I think I wanna do like a cute little clip though for the hair. I'll show you what I mean. Don't act like you know what I mean already. You don't know nothing about me and what I mean by that when I say a cute little clip. So don't be in there. Don't be trying to pretend you know what I'm talking about. Cause oh, I know that's what you're doing. So dumb. I thought I had colorful clips. I'm gonna use this. Yeah, you didn't have, you didn't know that that's what I was gonna use. So don't don't be talking about, oh, I knew that's what you were gonna use. No, you didn't, and you're a pretender. That feels so cute. Okay, I low-key think this is it. I kinda ate the boots down, and I slayed. OMG. I feel so pretty. Okay, I gotta go, y'all, so I can make content before the sun goes down, cause she's going down, and she's going down quick. Let me know what you think. Do I give cutie Goldilocks? I hope I do. Okay, bye. I'm setting up my phone for Dicky Talky. Okay, you guys know the drill. You stay right there. And I'm not even kidding. If you fall on me again, I'm gonna be pissed.
Why did I just notice I forgot the contacts after I just filmed everything? I walk in my bathroom and all the contacts are right here. I'm gonna try some of them just to see what could have been. <gasps> this would have been so good! They make my eyes look so big. Oh, I'm pissed. Y'all don't know me, I'm crazy enough to try to film it all again. This would have been so perfect, I'm so mad! I literally might do this all again next week so I can have these in. These look so good. Ah, oh, I can't believe it! I'm so mad. In other news, these are really cute. Thanks, P Pinky. What? In other news, these are really cute. Thank you, Pinky Paradise. Let me try these blue ones. These are all from Pinky Paradise, by the way. Now I'm gonna try their blue ones. The blue ones are cute. I just don't think they really, like I feel like you can really, you can't really see them. I think I thought they were gonna be a little more like vibrant and loud and screaming at me. Oh, like these, like these are definitely going to do. I think the brown ones would have been the best. I might refilm it, I really might. Which sucks, because everything looked really good. Whoa, yeah, heck no. These are really cool for like cosplays and stuff, but not for this. <laughs> okay, at least I know that the brown will be really good for cartoony stuff, I'm so pissed. Now I can take all this stuff off. This costume was definitely something. Kind of felt like I looked more like a maid than Goldilocks, but you know what? Wait, why is this kind of cute? Ooh. I'm just kidding, I just like the color blue. I was gonna say anything and it was cute. I'm gonna go take me a shower and lay my ass down and go to sleep. I'm going to, okay, well first, I'm going to, Tatcha is having an event and we're playing pickleball and they said to come wearing athleisure. So this is what I'm wearing because I don't really have athleisure. It's a bodysuit and then I just have my little socks and my new balances are at the door. I'm gonna be there like this. Exactly, you've never seen a bitch work out. Mm, and they told us to come with no makeup on, so I'm nervous about that, but I had to listen. I ordered these nails from Etsy. And they're so cute. Why did I order the wrong size for my pinky? And it's freaking ginormous. Do you see that? It literally covers, like, like I literally could put it on like this. But this sucks because I really liked their nails, but they're flimsy. They feel very much like if I do anything remotely strenuous, they're popping right off. And I'm nervous about that. But I'm gonna put them on because, I mean, I can't really do anything about it. And I don't, I think because of how thin the nails feel, I probably wouldn't order again, so I might as well just get my money's worth before they all break off. I don't think I can like fix this nail even to make it fit my finger, but I'm gonna try. They're just so big. I don't think you guys can truly see. This is my finger. This is the nail. I'm gonna try it. I'm literally just gonna try it anyway. I mean, how crazy can it really look? What if I just have a big pinky? Oh, I forgot my nail was healing. Ooh, not a good idea, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I had like jammed my hand into something last week and my finger fingernail bruised, like my actual pinky nail is bruised. And it was really bad early in the week, so I'm hoping that because it's been a little while, maybe it's not as bad now. Maybe she'll just be chill about it. I mean, I don't think that looks too bad. I don't feel like that looks as bad as it could. Um, I feel like this could look way worse with how big this actually is compared to my finger. So I'm gonna put the rest of this hand on and I'll show you. Okay, hand one, it doesn't look too crazy, but I think they definitely look like press-ons. I think most of the time when I wear press-on nails, they don't really look like press-ons. I think these look like press-ons. <laughs> Um, but I've already put them on and I have to go in like literally the next couple minutes So I'm gonna put them on and I'm gonna try to take my camera with me so I can take you guys to play pickleball First of all look at my nails are you kidding me? They're so cute. They feel so Beauty and the Beast-esque. Am I tripping? I think I'm gonna order from her again. Their user is All My Nails. They're really good. They are on the thinner side, which I don't love. I like when the nails have a little more you know, stability. They feel a little stronger when you do stuff like this. They're not thin. Like, I don't feel like they'll bend if I do this, but I feel like a nice little builder gel would really upgrade her nail level. Um, She actually said it was her first order on Etsy, which I thought was so cool. So I think I'm gonna order it from her again and order them all to be these two nails because these ones look really cool to me, especially this one, and do them white or like baby pink. And I also got one more from her, but I guess I put it in my, oh. I guess I put it in my room already. Yeah, but, but I think, oh, 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 but. I have other things to show you, one second. So I have the milk, I think it's the, the milk jelly tint. I have that on right now, but then I put a little bit of my Burt's Bees over it. And then Tatcha had a pickleball event and they invited me, which is really cool because I love Tatcha and I really hope that they like wanna keep talking to me and stuff, I don't know, it's cool. And they gave us these lip tints. This one is the shade Camella or Camea maybe. I don't know if there's a double L. I already have tinted lips, but you know. What's a little more? Then, my newest obsession. They're by the creme shop. Wait. 
there's more. They sent me this one, which is Hello Kitty, and it's Strawberry Rose Latte. I love her. Let me show y'all how much I love them to the point where I'm barely using them because I don't want them to run out. That's the little dip that I use, and I just go like this, and I scrape off the tiniest little smidgen. And they're very moisturizing. They feel really great on the lips. Then there's Cinnamon Roll, Cinnamon Roll, and this one is Cinnamon Roll Scented. Oh, they're on the back right here, so it says like the strawberry rose latte then there's kuromi doo, 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 doo. and she is blueberry smoothie mm -hmm. yummy and they all just look like this in their pot they look like little macaroons too wait look they're little macaroons they're so cute i love them i just wanted to show you that and then also prada sent me some gifting oh i love prada prada candy has been like my fragrance for a long time and i've been consistently using it. i have two i have like a full size and i think a smaller one this is, ooh, augmented skin cream. Okay. Also, wh what I bought you all here for today. My towel bag came in. And Folike sent me because she was like, yeah, when you discover that app, you know, I thought you would buy like cute little like clothes and here you are buying a house and a car. <laughs> Cause I buy furniture on Taobao because um, it's good. Like this little, Wooden shelf is from Taobao. She's solid wood and she's great quality and it was like 20 bucks, I think. Okay, we have a little little spatula. It says Prada on it, cute. And then we've got the product. Oh, the, the packaging alone is gorgeous. That is so pretty to look at. Are you me trying to get my nails on the shot? Yeah, it's all about the product. It looks so nice. Okay, like they make sure you know it's Prada. They make sure you know it's Prada. They said, don't even try to play. Okay, and we have another layer <laughs> to go through. Okay, they're making sure she's sealed. Oh, I'm scared this is gonna pull my nail up. Oh, oh, it smells kind of like, now hear me out, the Jergens. <laughs> I love the smell of Jergens. Like, it kind of reminds me of that a little bit. This is what it looks like. Wait, I'm trying, I'm gonna put this back in so I can use the little bit that falls off on my face. Like, see that? Yeah, she's getting used. She's getting used. I need to figure out if this is, like what this targets specifically. Let me see if it's on the box. Adapt your skin to the future. Okay. So if you don't know what Taobao is, because I don't know if I've explained it, but it's a, Chi I'm pretty sure it's just a Chinese shopping app. I don't know if there's more to it, but that's as far as I know about it. I'm a little intimidated. Um, these boxes look insane, but we're gonna open this one first. This one is my bar stools because I've been eating dinner in my computer chair since I didn't have anywhere to sit. So I would like to open this first. And the box was busted open. You can literally see on the side, the chair like sticking out. This box is crazy. I'm really wondering how they're gonna ship the nightstand. And I'm wondering how I'm gonna put this stuff together because I'm assuming the instructions are also in Chinese. Google Translate's gonna have to put in some overtime. We got, oh Lord, seat number one. Cute, super cute. Oh, seat number two. Oh, okay, she's feeling good. And then I'm thinking the legs are down here. Yup, and here they are. Whoa. Okay, it doesn't look very complicated, I'll be honest. Oh, they double boxed it. But I'm wondering if I have space for both of these because my dining area is not that big. It's a bar stool area for a kitchen island that I paid for. Like, my kitchen island didn't come with my apartment. I paid for it. I don't know if there's space. There's also no instructions nor screws. Um, okay, I did find tools. Um, I think I lost two washers. So I'm gonna check the box that they fell. Small washer, a big washer, and a screw. And I think you just go in. Damn, this is hard. This is the first item of today. So this is stressing me out. I'm getting irritated and I'm getting sweaty. Okay. Hang up on you. Not in the mood. Um, after fighting with this thing, for 40 minutes, I realized I was putting it on backwards. So I've now figured it out and I'm now on the last chair. I'm just still nervous that they're not gonna both fit, but I mean, girl, I don't got no choice. Like, <gasps> they both fit! Ah, look how great they look. Beautiful, beautiful. Gorgiana. I lost my nail. I just got these. Oh my gosh, my wrist still hurts. But look how gorgeous they look. Just be beautiful. Okay, we're making progress. I'm doing this big ass lamp and um, she's, she's big. I don't know how this is gonna lay down, but oh, okay. I guess it goes like that. Oh, there's definitely like a screw or something I'm supposed to have 
for the top. And the base of this lamp is so heavy, it's not even funny. Okay, okay. That don't look good. Um, okay. Um, we do have a little problem. Without whatever screw I need up there, this lamp most definitely is not working. Oh, wait! I think I'm supposed to use that thing. Wait a second, I think I know what I did wrong. What am I supposed to be doing? They sent me like a tutorial video, but um, sister, I'm confused. Oh, I think I put it on wrong. Okay, in their video, it looks different. How the fucky food am I supposed to do this? And now I've gotten it stuck. What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay, so let's try this again. Okay. And then I put the with the, with the put the with the. Oh my gosh, I'm doing it. I'm literally doing it. I'm literally doing it. Stop. I'm eating. I'm eating. And then the light bulb go, oh, I'm falling. And then the light bulb go into, and then she's good. OMG. This doesn't feel very stable, but you know what? I paid like $12 for this. It's totally fine. Okay. Let me connect the bulb and then I'm gonna be back. We did it, Joe. We did it. Now, I definitely don't think I'm keeping it here because I think laying down and looking up into that would be torture, but I'm gonna put it there for now. I think I'm gonna put it in this corner inevitably, but I'm not sure. Not too much on the laundry in the back. We're gonna use the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream for the makeup today. Um, I low-key already put some on, but I put on like a very small amount. <laughs> okay, let that sit. Told y'all, y'all gotta let moisturize the sit. I'm gonna install my wig with the Eben Lace Adhesive. They sent over their new sports edition collection. There is a lot of product. I don't have time to really sit here and show you all of them, so we're just gonna jump straight to it. Ooh, it smells good. That does smell like rosemary mint. That's delicious. Everyone was asking in my last hair TikTok what glue I was using. I was using Ghost. No, I wasn't. I was using Bold Hold Active. She's taking way too long to dry and I've got to go. So I'm just gonna put it on. Guys, maybe I waited too long, but the glue just was not drying clear. Look, something gotta give. I, this wig will be on my head. That's that's all I could do. Um, I'm just gonna trust the process. I'm just gonna do that and hope for the best. Trying the Makeup Forever Primer. Definitely should have tried this another day. <laughs> I have to wait for this to melt in. And I have 16 minutes. Oh no, sorry, 34 minutes. Wow, that math was something. Now, I'm gonna wet my beauty sponge with some setting spray. Girl, she's almost out. I've had the spray for like two years. Dab it in your hand so it gets, penetrates the sponge. It cosmetics for under eyes, eyelids. Oh. Any blemishes, any blemishes, and that's all. And then MAC goes smile line protector and then a dab and a dab on the nose blend out the concealer look at that there were so many scars over there and there's nothing wrong with scars i just needed them to be going behind bars i literally had to take some off just now because this concealer is truly so full covered and my upper lip is really sweating like girl calm down and i let that dry re-blend oh not even really on this side it's I oh, didn't really budge. But you're gonna wanna re-blend the concealer for your powder. Look at that. Look at the difference in my face. You guys know I was just kidding. Isn't that from SpongeBob? Did I make that up? Is that actually from SpongeBob? I'm, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> and Huda, you really blessed the world with these sponges. You really did. Now I do my makeup with love. Hourglass blessed me with their Veil Translucent Powder and I didn't get to try it when they sent it, so I'm gonna try it now. Ooh, don't play with her. Oh my gosh. Oh no, y'all gotta make these things nail friendly, y'all. I don't have time for this. There isn't much time. Just her going in my eye. I can feel it, I can feel it, I can feel it. Where are you? Got you. That was about to go in my eyeball. Do you see that? That's bonkers. That would've hurt. And don't call me dramatic. You know that would've hurt. Okay, here's the powder. Dip it on the hand. Boop, 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 boop. Dip it on the hand. It's very fine. It's very thin. I don't feel like I really need to stab into it to get some product off. Look how much is coming off of my hand. Usually there isn't much on my hand. It feels very flat and very thin. She's looking good. Oh, I forgot to do my eyes. Whoops. I didn't one size them, but that's okay. I'm sure they'll be fine. My eyelids don't really crease like that. It's really just the small lines in my under eyes. But even then, not even really the under eyes. Mmm, cute. And then let's do... <laughs> Mm, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try the Pat McGrath Divine Gloss Lip Gloss. 
This was gifted to me at a TikTok event. It's so pretty and sparkly. Pat McGrath, you just know your shit. Mm, she smells so good. Mm. Now for the real reason that I came here today. This Krylon face spray. I heard this is like, you would put this face spray on if you're about to go through a hurricane. So I'm gonna try it to go eat Thai food. But um, I'm a little afraid of her, so I'm gonna use like some moisturizing, finishing refresher sprays first, just to like prep my face. Cause I've heard she's like the real deal. Like she's the bee's knees, like she's the business. I'm trying to see if it says anything. Extremely flammable, there are hot tools here, but I think they're off. I'm just gonna do it. Does it say to shake? It doesn't say, so I'm not gonna shake it. I'm not, we're just gonna open her. She looks intimidating, like OMG. Also look at my new nails. They're from all my nails. I'll put them on the video. Aren't they so cute? They give like bell. Like I'm the bell of the ball. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Finishing Setting Spray. I love this spray. And then I'm gonna take the ABH Dewey Set. She's my best friend. Let those spray down for a little and then, oh, I'm scared. Oh, okay, let me hold my breath. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Is this poison? Like, I literally felt like I just got poisoned. Hold on. <laughs> that's enough, that's enough. Oh my gosh, I can literally feel my face locking up. <laughs> Wait, I can literally feel it drying my face down. Whoa, I can feel that. Extremely flammable, I just read that. Girl, like, I'm scared of you. I feel like I just sprayed paint thinner on my face. I'm gonna do a little more. It smells like rubbing alcohol. <laughs> that's definitely more than enough. I definitely put on way more than I needed to, but that's fine. That's what we're here to test for. All right, now we're gonna take down my hair. I have very high confidence that this is gonna look cute. And I wanted to try perm rods tonight, but these feel like the type of curl. <gasps> Guys, this may be the best I've ever curled my hair. Are you kidding me? Whoa, it looks like I went to a salon. And if you don't agree, I don't wanna hear it. I feel beautiful and I feel like I look like I went to a salon. If you do agree, obviously tell me. I think I'm just gonna wear my sneak, my Converse. I love these Converse. I love high top Converse so much. You don't even know. If you think you love them more than me, you don't. I'm gonna wear these and I need to find a purse. I don't know what purse. I have like no vibe. Vibeless, your honor. Never mind, I'll take this purse that I wear literally everywhere. Thank you. And I broke my Kayali pistachio last week at a House of CV event. Kayali literally sent me like re-ups. They sent me, well actually they sent me way like four or five pistachio products, but then they also let me pick a, like, a couple new things and I've never tried their rose oud. So I wanted to try it. Okay, I'm excited. Pulse points. Oh, that smells good. Oh my gosh, that hit my nose so fast. Ooh. I love a good floral, so I mean, I'm not shocked that I loved it, but damn, like, I knew I was gonna like this. I love the smell of rose so much. This smells so good. See, now they sent me this little ass bottle. I need to go find the, I need to go find the mega size and bathe in it. Okay, I feel like we're at a good stopping point. She says as she puts the hot comb straight to her head. I wish this front piece was a little better curled. If I mess up a piece, it's the front piece every time, every time. I will say that even lace melt truly melted. I feel like I never really care if you can see my lace because um, I'm wearing lace. You're most definitely gonna see lace on my head, but you really can't. I feel like I can't. Um, I'm sure y'all will let me know how much you can in the comments, but I feel like I can't. And being bald, I don't have a hair hat anymore, so I'm loving my look today. And I don't really care for myself with dark hair. I think I feel like it makes my jaw look too chiseled, but I'm not mad at her. I feel so cute and beautiful. See you guys tomorrow. Give me a kiss back. Just on the cheek, like don't get cute. <laughs> my wig? We got a lot going on, um, but I got a Hydro Flash, guys. I heard Stanley's got lead in it, so I looked up, what's a good, this type of comp Container that don't have lead poisoning. So they said this and then some other random brand I got on Amazon. And I love her. The only thing is I wish there was like a, but I bought a little cup cover thingamabob. Some or the other, I don't know. But anyway, look at these um pimple patches from the creme shop. Like, oh, oh my gosh. So cute and adorable and lovely. Are you kidding me? Don't piss me off. First up, 
I put on the milk jelly tint on my lips. This one is, I don't remember the shade, Chill. I think I like the, the there's there's this one, and then there's like a hot pink one. I can't remember the name of it. That's the one that's at my desk. This one, I think I like a little less just because it thinks, it looks a little more of a red moment than I think I aim for. The other one is so pink, it's pretty. But I already put on my moisturizer. I put on that Kiehl's moisturizer that I put on my story the other day. If you saw it, um, you saw it. Oh, I'll just get it. Oh, I'm so lazy. Fine, I'll get it. You're not my mom. I just realized I have a lot of skincare that I do not use because they're gifted. Um, so I'm starting to try to use all the stuff I have that I don't donate. So I have the Kiehl's Ultra Face Cream. And I asked everybody what they thought and there were so many replies, but the majority being, this is lovely. I love it so much. And then this one is a creamy eye treatment with avocado. And I've been using these two for the last two days. So far, I can't say I feel much, but I do, I will say I do, my face does feel more hydrated. We'll see, I've been putting the avocado cream on my smile lines and my eyes. So we'll see over time what that does. But I, I will say the moisturizer has been moisturizing. Um, I think that's true. Should I do like a my makeup must haves video? Wait, I should do that. I'm gonna do that. I don't think I've ever made one of those videos. I'm gonna make one, okay. So I've got my moisturizer on. I was gonna put on this one, but um, <laughs> I don't know if there's anything left. It's the Charlotte Tilbury lip conditioner. I love this thing. And then my Aquaphor, Burt's Bees. Those are my best ones. Okay, for today, the makeup is gonna be very chill just because I'm not going anywhere. I'm just gonna make videos in my house and if it stops raining, I'm gonna go to the store. So just very chill and then we'll fix my lace later. My skin looks so nice though. Like I'm very happy with how vibrant my skin looks. But anyway, we're only gonna use a couple products for this, which is gonna be the e.l.f. 16 hour camel concealer the white one is what i use i have some in color maybe i should try them i've kind of never used them besides the one i use for my nose a cosmetics bye bye concealer my best friend and then i want to try using the nars creamy radiant concealer because i've had this concealer and used it for a long time but i haven't used it recently so i feel like i kind of forgot how the formula works so i want to try it out today again i already put the morphe setting spray on my beauty sponge just the continuous setting mist and we're gonna start with the bye bye concealer very small amounts because she is high coverage. You really don't need to pack it on. Very, very, very minimal. Just wanna cover the scarring over here because there's a lot. Cover that up. Very, very quick little baby dots. They're gonna work, I promise. Then a little on the eyelid. See, that's already pushing it a little. This is kind of covering the scarring I have over there because I had a humongo pimple there yesterday. So that's what she's doing. And then I'm also gonna use the um, Milk Sculpt Stick in for blush and quirk. Then we're gonna use the North Creamy Radiant. I have a couple of these, but I'm using Cafe Con Leche. And this one is pretty light, so I'm a little nervy about that, but I'll just add a little tiny dot, little tiny dot, little tiny dot, little tiny dot. And we'll see where that takes us today. Actually, I kinda wanna let this sit for a little longer, so I'm gonna actually start on my nose. Everyone on TikTok asking me for a nose contour tutorial for literal months. Whoops. You know what the problem is? I just cannot ever do anything I want to do. It doesn't feel like I'm in control of my own thoughts in my brain sometimes. It feels like it's kind of mapped out how I need to do stuff and I'm just kind of like following the leader. Like I don't feel like I'm in control of my own brain like 90% of the time. And I feel like when I'm like, oh, I'm gonna make this video, I'm gonna do this, and my brain's like, eh, no you're not. I'm like, yeah, right, no I'm not. And I just don't. <laughs> and it literally works like that about most things. If my brain's decided that's not the vibe today, that's not the vibe today. Then we're gonna blend those in. I wanna try one day blending all of the, do, doing this exact routine, but blending everything in with my finger. Because I saw a, um, a Korean makeup artist on TikTok a while ago. I don't know who it is because I didn't follow them. They were just on my For You. I should have followed them because I was a very helpful tip, but I think I just wasn't. When I'm scrolling, honestly, my brain goes from like one thing to another. I'm like, oh wow, that's cool tip. And then I scroll like automatically, even if I liked the content. Look how glowy I look. Ooh, 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 but it still looks natural. That's the, that's what I look for. My camera did die, but I saved it in time. I'm gonna take the blush, the sculpt stick, and put it on my finger just to, my hand just to warm it up. It was already there because I did it and then my camera died. So I'm just gonna dot a little bit of that on the corners. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Something cute, nothing too crazy. See, now my sister's calling me. See, and you, you were kind of close, Ricky, cause you know why you're calling me right now. Oh, they're recording? Yeah, now it is, tell them hi. so cute it looks like a cute little purple afro okay bye i love you i love my sister i love my sister having your sister be your literal bestie when you get older is so funny i can't stop talking talking i can't stop thinking nor talking about it 
because it really is so interesting. We beefed our entire childhood. That's not true. Um, we were actually pretty close when we were kids. Like when we were both really small and I was like 12 and she was like a kid. We were actually really close because when she was, oh, fun fact, when my sister was a baby, my mom used to have to work really long hours, really, really like crazy hours. So at night, I'm rocking baby sister to sleep like like she's my baby and I'm changing her diapers, all sorts of stuff. Um, Literally like she's my baby. And then we got older and I think what happened is after having to feel like I was her mom for a little while, I think I just didn't want to feel like that anymore for a while. And we just kind of used to bicker a lot. And then we started, we started getting older and I think I wasn't a good big sister at first because I think that I, when I was a child, teen, I think I was not a good big sister. I think I was pretty mean. And I think that I was, no, I was definitely mean. I was definitely mean. And I used to hold grudges for way more time than made sense. And it was so childish and it was so stupid. And I think about it all the time now. And I always apologize to my sister. Like, I'm so sorry I did that to you. Like, that was terrible. Like, like I think that, well, yeah, being mean to your sister is like a thing, but it shouldn't be like, it shouldn't be like the norm to be mean to your little baby sister like that's all she is it's like she's your little baby sister like i don't know i feel really bad about it now and i've like talked to her about it and i've apologized but she's she doesn't really seem like she cares but i care and it makes me really sad but um if anyone's watching my video right now and you're an older sister or a middle child don't be mean to your little sister because i really regret how much time we could have spent building our relationship when we were younger just fighting because i was too mad about something really stupid or because i was embarrassed about something and i was just i wasn't nice like i don't know I wasn't nice and even though now I'm nice and blah, 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 it just doesn't feel like it makes up for it. I'm gonna change the subject cause I'm gonna cry. <laughs> okay, I wiped off all my powders. Oh my gosh. And I'm gonna set my face and then fix this, this monster of a wig. Okay, we're gonna fix <laughs> this and I'm gonna show you how. Firstly, you need to clean the area. I do not recommend putting alcohol on your head. Like I've told y'all a hundred times though, I don't care about my edges, so I'm going to. You can use dish soap and a warm rag and some water. It literally will do the same thing. I'm just not gonna get up. <laughs> and that's real. Also dish soap and warm water is the easiest way to clean your lace off and clean glue off your lace. That is what I do. And I get glue off my lace in like five seconds. <laughs> Alcohol doesn't even take it off as easily as warm water and dish soap does. You really just want your lace clean enough that when you add more glue, it doesn't look nuts. So just cleaning all that old ass glue off your head and off your lace. And once you do that, come, we're, we're gonna do the next part. Now I know that the Eben Sports Edition did not work for me in the last video, but I really wanna give it another try because I mean, up here is pretty well stuck. It's just around the front perimeters that feels like it looked crazy. So I'm gonna try again. She does have some problems with coming up. Maybe I put on too much, like, I don't know. I kind of believe in her. And then thin line. Then you want to thin it out so that it does dry clear. Maybe mine was too thick yesterday. I can't tell if I'm making excuses sometimes or if I just to blame others. <laughs> like, I don't know if I'm actually the problem or the glue is actually the problem. I feel like I can't tell. <laughs> we'll see. Let this dry clear and then I'm going to do a second cup. Yeah, we're getting crazy. Okay, the glue is dry adjacent. Um, And I don't know. I don't trust that I can get a fully clear coat out of this because it's going to feel like yesterday. So I'm just going to go for it and hope that it works because I'm like not in the vibe for this not to work at the moment. And then I'm going to press down. Applying pressure is really what will like lock, lock that shit down to your head. See, maybe it is the glue. This is like not sticking. <laughs> Like what the hell? Okay, I'm gonna hold it for a couple seconds, but if I gotta hold it any longer than this, I think I'm just gonna stick with my bolt hold because um, I don't have to do this with bolt hold, it stays. Okay, I'm gonna do the even on this side and then I'm gonna do my bolt hold on the other side that lifted because I'm not crazy. This is like not eating the boots. Oh my gosh, let me get my headband, hold on. Okay, so I'm gonna use the bolt hold active on this side because I need to know if even is the problem or if it's me. Because I feel like with my bolt hold, once I put the wig down, she sticks. And that's like, that's how it goes. So if it doesn't do that on this side, then I'm the problem. And if it does, then I mean, even I love y'all, but get back in the stew. <laughs> with that wig glue. Um, one, two, booty do. Your, the, the thing about Eben though, is their lace adhesive sprays work very well. Those are my best friends, but I feel like it's just been continuous miss for me with the glues, the actual glues. 
But then I just saw a TikTok the other day of this girl saying that the red even glue is like her go-to. But I mean, I guess technically I need to try it, so maybe that's what it is. But anyway, let's let's do my bold hold active and let's see. Like, let, and I feel like this gets clear. And I don't know. Maybe the even just needs more time. I really don't. okay. I need to stop making excuses. I need to stop making them excuses. <laughs> just put the glue on. Okay. And then there's a lot of extra glue. So I'm gonna use this for the front. Let me pin this back. I have a pink mirror that has my melody on it. I broke it and I broke my Hello Kitty mirror. So all I have left is this little boring wooden one. Okay, so this part, I put a lot of glue on my actual hair. So I doubt that's gonna turn clear because this is exactly why you need to get your hair out of the way when you do wig installs because if the glue catches on it, um, it's not gonna turn clear. Maybe that's what was happening over here, I don't know. I'm gonna let that dry at the, at the center and clip down the bolt hold. See, it stuck immediately. That's okay. So that at least is the even. I do think that the even not turning clear might be me though, because I think I have too much of my real hair down on that side. And I think it might've been catching on it. So I feel like that might be it, but definitely for immediate stick, bold hold, she, she came through. And then I'm gonna pull down what I did just now and go downtown. But you know, I'm a bad bitch all around and you know why it gets down. Okay, okay, okay. Way too much glue. Damn, I think I should have used the lace melt. I don't know why I did that because I don't really put glue that close to the front and center lace. But you know, I was feeling crazy and I was feeling silly. So I'm gonna leave this and let this dry and then I'll be back. Okay, it's been mad long and it actually feels like both sides look pretty good. I do have a lot of my hair stuck to my cap, but you get the point. It's pretty easy. You can add like a lace melt spray after this if you want. I just don't feel like it's always necessary. Um, but I would recommend in replacement of putting glue up here like I did to use a, a lace melt for up here because touching up the front and center is a lot easier when you don't have to touch up glue. And if the front and center of your wig is thin because you want it to look plucked and good quality, then it's gonna be hard to have glue there and to remove it all the time. But I'm not gonna lie, when I woke up this morning, my hair didn't look too bad from like, being leftover hair from yesterday. I feel like I'm not really gonna need to do much. I've got my wide tooth. It obviously has a lot less curl to it, but I don't know, it doesn't feel too bad. It feels just like a looser curl day. Um, That's a lie. The more I comb it, the more I realize it actually does look a little bit almost straight. So never mind. I think tonight I'll do perm rods just to, just to really get a good long lasting curl because when I do perm rods, they last so so long in my hair, like so, 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 so long. And also, um, I don't feel like curling this today. <laughs> I y'all got the one, the one day of really good curls out of me, and I just can't. Oh, and I just can't say with confidence that I can do that again. So I'm gonna keep my streak of doing my hair really good and do perm rods tonight. Um, I can't get my ear out. I can't. Hello. Please come up. Okay. In high school, um, when I had a sew-in, I used to walk like this. So my ponytail would swing, but my ponytail was like dry, so it didn't look like that. But you get the point. Um, oh, you know what? Maybe we could claw clip it. Maybe like a cute claw clip moment. Let's do that. Period. Oh, it kind of looked like coconut head from Nuts Declassified. Okay, um, no, I look like an assistant teacher, but you know what? I'm literally just gonna go stream right now, so it's fine. I mean, no one on stream cares anyway, but okay, yeah, thanks, bye. Oh. You know what's something about me that I think is hilarious? I have to slap the shit out of myself to stay awake, which is crazy because I'll be so tired and ooh, she's so sleepy during the day. And then when it's nighttime and I need to be sleeping, nope, none of that drowsiness is anywhere to be found. So I'll sit at my desk and I'll be like, ah. And it's, it's legit the only way I can get myself to like perk up and wake up and it works. I mean, I'll have like a ginormal red mark on my face, but it'll work and I'll be awake. Okay, we gotta go to the store and run some errands. I got stuff to do. I gotta go to Michael's and then I have to go to well, um, Whole Foods to return some stuff and then I have to go to the grocery store because I ain't got no food. Let's put on this drip. So, you know, it just looks very chill. These are tighter than I remember. Um, I might need to donate them. That was a little too hard to put on. And then I had a hat, but I kind of feel like <sighs> I don't need to wear it. I'm really not a hat girl. I have so many hats, but they just all look so unnatural when I wear them. Okay, fragrance. Let's do, let's do something that I like, but for some reason don't wear often. Sol de Janeiro 62. Now, I don't wear 62 often, but 
I do wear 70, 71 quite often. As you can see, there ain't much juice left in the tank. This is one of my favorite fragrances, period. And then especially by Sol de Janeiro. You really do just smell like a big ass cookie. But I'm gonna wear 62. It says it's pistachio and salted caramel. Okay. Oh, it, is, it, it smells kind of similar to the 71 actually. Just a little. Well, now I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go be an adult and run errands and do grown stuff. Mm -hmm.